Hey guys, Soulbash here. We are back today with a game that you've seen me post before, but it was back before it was even out on beta. I actually did get to play this in beta back at end of November, early December. I uh, did not record any videos, I actually live streamed that, but I'm on US Server 1 Wudang. This is Age of Wushu Dynasty. Uh, I've already created a character. Uh, you have four different choices currently that you can create. You have uh, Shaolin, Wudong, Ime and Tangman. Tangman is what I am currently and we're gonna enter the game on this character and just show you around. Show you kind of what Age of Wushu Dynasty is about. Now this is a port from a PC game uh, MMORPG called Age of Wushu which was released like well over four years ago by Snail and uh, this is another Snail release if you guys did not know uh, right here, your main character, you have, uh, here we go, character, well, let me get out of this area. There we go. You have your character, martial arts, crafting, titles, outfits, and your know, friends, mail, and you also have another section over here, and it brings up the story mode, shows you, you know, what you've completed and whatnot. And uh, just like uh, Tai Chi Panda, it has rewards for the chapters. Once you complete a chapter, you see, you get story rewards for completing them. 30 gold, some silver, chi, used for the meridians that they have in the game. So you can claim those. Uh, I'm not sure how many I can actually claim off of these. I haven't claimed any of them. But those help you out throughout the game and uh, as far as the game you know leveling sets up and stuff like that you have a skill set which are your skills that you use currently to begin with uh, you can cultivate them which levels them up and you can only level them up to uh, your current level some of them and some of them have their own set levels that you can do and you also have internal skills which you can cultivate you see level 15 of 15 uh, that's one of the Tangman abilities. You have the Meridians that you can do. Um, there's just so much to this game already. And it just released like last week. Uh, you see at the bottom center of the screen it says Vigor is full. Click to challenge. Vigor is what you actually use to do uh, your maps. Your storyline. You know, the quest. Uh, you can get more Vigor. There are Vigor pills. Large, medium, and small pills that you can use. Uh, game is very very much quest bound you do a lot of quests in the game uh, it's pretty nice different pace than what we're used to playing in the action RPG from snail uh, and it is semi open world as uh, let me stop that right there you can see here you have people just standing around fighting and I mean this is an open world so I mean I could sit here and just kill this stuff if I wanted to and well there's quite a bit of people here let's move over to say here and look you get experience for killing stuff you know you don't have to be inside of a story map or anything like that to get experience here that is one thing that sets this apart definitely from Tai Chi Panda it is also it uses the same graphics engine as well now traveling throughout the city you're gonna encounter this you can run on water and jump over everything the uh, out of story mode abilities that you can do it, it's absolutely amazing just for just an RPG action mobile game it's not fully MMORPG but the things that you can do in this game it's pretty awesome so far now getting into the combat of course you have different things here uh, the abilities that let you dodge attack and uh, do some other special abilities like a uh, little range thing we have here that is a tangman ability and of course there's an auto battle feature right here that it automatically actually goes through and if you watch the controls on the right side it'll actually cue the next one it's going to do if one is reloading see that right there you see the circle going around it in red and this is the ultimate special move that you have I'm sure each of them are going to be different and there are also going to be more classes and things added in the future uh, but the combat system here is very unique you have the parry, the faint and uh, there's one more uh, 
still learning all the stuff here. It's very new to me, even though I have played it several times before. And at the end of some of the maps, you do have bosses. And uh, if we can get rid of all this trash, we can actually see where the boss is at. And there is a little bit of violent language in this uh, game as well, so be prepared for that. And one more here. And then we have a Zhao Chen. Where are you at? There you are. No, that is not you. That is another trash mob. And follow the arrows to where it's showing things are at. And assuming this is going to be him where everybody is bowing down. Yes, it is. Take out all this trash. And use a special ability that'll help. Alright, you see him peering? He's blocking. Now, I can block just as well. During combat, you can also slide around, you can jump. Apparently, stuff blowing up on the ground, though, still hits you if you're in the air. So. combat system is pretty unique though guys if you haven't tried this game you can download it for free Android and iOS it is globally released pretty awesome game and uh, let me know what you think about it and that's gonna be the end of this video guys and you know what to do if you like the video bash the like button if you're also not subscribed bash the subscribe button and as always guys I am soul bash have a nice day it's got this outfit here but look at this right under it. It's got 10,000 net damage, which is insane for an outfit. When you're in town, different schools can uh, fight in PvP just by themselves. There's a reputation you can gain. So, so it does have open world PvP? Open, yes, it does. It's semi-open because you can turn it on.